Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of The Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Make some fucking noise. You, flower shirt, make noise with your hands. There you go, like a fucking grown up. Comedians, how are you? Welcome to Kill Tony. You're at the number one live podcast in the world, ladies and gentlemen. You guys ready for a crazy fucking night or what? Fuck yeah. This is uh, my last show here before I, I go on the biggest tour of my life, everybody. Uh, with Jeremiah Watkins featuring for me. This Wednesday, I go to St. Louis, and then Madison, Wisconsin, Ferndale, Michigan, Minneapolis, Nashville, Huntsville, Louisville, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Columbia, Decatur, which is Atlanta, Charlotte, Asbury Park, Oakmont, PA, which is really Pittsburgh, Baltimore, New York City, the night of the Mayweather-McGregor fight. I'm, I get the Gramercy Jesus Theater to Christ. fill fill up the Gramercy. 2,000 seats in New York City. Have fun with that, Tony. We'll get behind you. We'll promote it. <laughs> Cambridge, Massachusetts, San Francisco, Portland, Los Angeles, Tacoma, Denver, and then I do a bunch of other fun stuff. But that's all part of the Monster Jesus. Energy Outbreak Tour, which I'm doing for the next month and a half. I'm really excited about it. That's awesome. Now I had to say the city specifically, which I wish I'd been doing this entire time uh, okay. because it helps really promote the show. A lot of people aren't on Twitter and Instagram, and sometimes they just listen to the podcast. When I went to Alaska, no one used Twitter at all. Like yeah. No one. Exactly. And I'm like, how did you find out about this show? Right. They're like, I just listened to Kill Tony. Ham radio. So for those of you that didn't want to look at the website and you've heard me talking about this Monster Energy drink tour, now you know exactly where I'm going, which it's going to be very close to you. You know what happened this week, which was fucking awesome? Mm. The Verzi triplets this past week were on the Gong Show with Mike Myers on, uh, I, know, I believe saw it's that. ABC. That's fucking crazy. It's and not Mike Myers, what, by the way. What, what was that? That's the whole thing. It's not supposed to be Mike Myers. Have you seen it well, yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it, but he's, in, uh, right. he's in disguise. He's like yeah. halfway to Fat Bastard or yeah, something like that. Weird. Um, but also there was uh, America's Got Talent. Yeah, um, Preacher Lawson Preacher killing Lawson. it on that. My point is, is this show is by far on the forefront of finding uh, always the you know, new and uh, sometimes most compelling characters in the comedy business. And I don't think we really talk about that enough. And I just want to say that I'm proud of those guys and I'm very excited about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're looking for talent and if you're hiring, do you know where to post your job to find the best candidates? <laughs> with ZipRecruiter, you can post your job to 100 plus job sites with just one click. Then their powerful technology efficiently matches the right people to your job better than anyone else. And ZipRecruiter is different. Unlike the other job sites, ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on the candidates finding you. It finds them. In fact, over 80% of the jobs posted on ZipRecruiter get qualified candidates in just 24 hours. No juggling emails or calls to your office. Simply screen, rate, and manage candidates all in one place with ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use dashboard. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And right now, the listeners of this show can post jobs what? on ZipRecruiter for free. What? That's right. Free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. One more time to try it for free. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. Are you guys ready to start the show? Oh. Ryan J. Ebelt's here. Ryan J. Ebelt is here drawing tonight's episode. Check out that Kill Tony poster right wow. there. He drew that. He draws a fresh print of every single show, all of those pieces of amazing art. And I'm telling you, he's been on fire lately. If you've ever enjoyed a drawing of anything, he's the fucking man. RyanJEbelt.com uh, for everything. Josh Martin is here uh, running around. You know him, that wacky character. Tonight is the first ever time. There's a lot of people watching this fucking little tube right here. Yeah. We are the first ever podcast to go in VR 360. That's right. And you are here for that. <laughs> Virtual reality. Some people are looking at you right now for some reason. Alexa. Alexa. Never mind. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I'm excited about tonight's show. I'm really pumped. Every single week, I have two of my funniest comedian friends in the world on this show. This week, as usual, no different. Put your hands together for the great Jack Knight and Benji Aflalo. Jack Knight, in September, his brand new show, Big Mouth, will be streaming on Netflix. 
In January on Freeform, Benji's brand new show that he created and stars in Alone Together comes out. You're looking at, literally, I say this about myself a lot, but you are literally looking at two of the top young rising comedians in the world right now. Three of them. And Brian Redband. Uh, Jack Knight and Benji Lawler here. Uh, what's up, dudes? Welcome. Jack, this is your first time on the show. Yeah, this is my, I, I've been watching and hearing about the show since I started comedy, and I used to be really scared, because Tony used to, like, come in the patio, and he'd be like, yo, come do my show. If you suck, I'm going to tell you. And I was like, <laughs> I suck, so I'm not going to go. <laughs> you didn't. I've never I seen did, you. I did. Never came here. here, and now I get to he I'm here judging. This so is your know. first time as a guest yeah. and your first time as an audience member. Yeah, yeah. So welcome to the show, I'm Jack. excited. Benji, one of the most ruthless minds I know, one of the great creators. I'm telling you right now, you're looking at the next Larry David. It's fucking Benji. He's, uh, one, I, we wrote The Burn together on Comedy Central. He uh, segued that straight into a full-time Comedy Central roast writer's position, which is a very hard job to get. And then you helped out Andy Samberg, and now he's the EP of your brand new show. You wrote for Andy Samberg, I remember, during the roast of Justin Bieber. Everybody helps out. Oh, Mr. Humble, that's going to play well on this show. <laughs> um, all right, well, should we uh, hit the gasoline and meet my favorite part of this show, the Kill Tony Band? Yeah! How many of you guys in the audience have ever heard of this show before or seen it before at all? By making noise, not by raising your fucking hands. <laughs> all right, I'll allow it. I hope you guys get a little bit more energy as it goes, because this band is not going to deal with your quiet bullshit. You guys better get some tequila in you right now. You guys have drinks? No? No. Tony, I'm wearing the new Kill Tony shirt right now. Oh, there's a new Kill Tony shirt! Look at that! Just when we couldn't plug anything fucking else in the world, we have a brand new, we finally, after four years of being a show, uh, came out with a t-shirt this yeah. week. Finally started getting yeah. delivered. I love it. I love mine. Anyway. Let's do this shit. Every single week, they commit to a brand new set of characters. It's one of the greatest things happening in all of the improvisational world. Put your hands together for the Kill Tony Band. It's Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Berg. Joel Jimenez. You got to make more noise than that, people. I'm fucking warning you. Your drinks are coming, I promise. Oh, back to the future. Oh, shit. Wow. It's that Rick and Morty guy. We are going back to the future today. This is incredible. Okay, there they are. Jeremiah Watkins, Pat Reagan, and Joel Jimenez. Guys, come on, you can keep clapping. I know. I know. Great Scott. Tony. <laughs> wow, Doc. That's great. Doc, fully committed. Where are you coming from? Uh, where'd you come from here today? The future. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the guy next to you? Oh, hi. hi oh, hi. I'm, Cr I'm Crispin Glover. Oh, hi, Biff. Hey, Biff. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I met Mrs. McFly? What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, that's Biff. All right. And that's uh, Michael J. Uh, Michael J. Chupacabra or something like that. Mar Martine McFly. Martine. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Berg. Um, so you guys know how the show works. All the pieces are in place. I have Ichabod's demonic bucket of destiny right here. We have uh, over a ton of comedians' names. Guys, there's, uh, there's, there's comedians over there. There's 12 empty seats over here. If you guys want to move over here, it would be more efficient for the show. I'm going to pull names out of the bucket, and uh, then they're going to walk on stage, and uh, that's how the show works. They do 60 seconds of stage time. Comedians know their 60 seconds is up when they hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then, or else they're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. And you don't want that to happen. You guys ready to start the show? I yeah. am. Ladies and gentlemen, audience, are you guys ready to start the show? I'm excited. 60 seconds, uninterrupted, goes to Cal Hamilton.
What's up, Comedy Store? Yeah. I'm having a good time out here. I'm having a good time. I just became a father, so I'm chilling. Thank you. The little nigga turned 10 next month, right? <laughs> I'm a second half daddy right now, you know? <laughs> like, he came into my life at the same time, <laughs> you know? We're bonding, you know? I love my son. I love my son. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, whoop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Every time I fly, I think it's just black people. We just like get scared of flying when we on a fucking plane. We can't do shit about it. Like I started thinking about the dumb shit about aircrafts. You know what I mean? Like you gotta do all to get naked to get on a plane. You know? But I started thinking about the little rules, like a seatbelt. Can anybody tell me what the fuck a seatbelt's on an airplane for? No, I don't know either. Like, have you ever watched CNN and saw a plane crash and somebody walk out and be like, "Yo, <laughs> this fucking seatbelt, my dog." <laughs> This shit worked. <laughs> that shit don't happen. <laughs> yeah, that shit, this, this don't happen. Was that it? Oh, there there he is, Cal Hamilton. Coming in. Wait, where are you going, Cal? Get back behind that microphone. You're not getting off that easy. I never did the show, Tony. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Tony. You're welcome. You got Thank pulled you. out of a bucket. It's not like I picked yeah, it. Well, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. It's one of the only shows where I really have no control over okay. who comes up here. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, do, have you? How many times have you been on an airplane? Uh, quite a few. You know, I'm still ballpark. Um, about 50, 60. 50, 60 yeah. times. None of those times you've ever, you really don't know why there's a seatbelt? Because it went a little quiet here at that part because everybody knows why there's a seatbelt on Yeah, but you never, like, you never saw nobody walk out from, like, you know, like at 20,000 feet if something happened. But we just did, you know, it's not. <laughs> That's not necessarily seat true. The seatbelt <laughs> to identify you. I think there's things that can happen in which uh, the seatbelt can help you that yeah. isn't just immediately dying. Turbulence. Yeah. Turbulence. <laughs> Turbulence. <laughs> Have you yeah, heard yeah. you know, uh, 50, 60 times you've never felt a little shake. Uh, uh, yeah, Where are you, you flying know. to? San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> In San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. You sound like open mic riding a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love your style. Uh, hey, thank do you, you, man. Do you ever just use the TV tray as like a uh, some type of like, a that's ba like a banister to hold you in, like a roller coaster? No, or that's like, like that? my sleeping headrest, like school. You know, you bow, bow, you right? Know. That's it. You, you ever seen Back to the Future? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen it. You saw the BET version, Black to the Future. <laughs> That's so true. It's about a guy that goes back in time in an El Camino. <laughs> 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 a Chevy Caprice would be better. Cal, how long you've done stand up? Uh, eight years. Started in Cincinnati, Ohio. Been out in LA two years. You know what that sound means? Oh, it's the Ohio State Marching Band. The best damn band in the land is their nickname, but I saved that for uh, there it is. Phil Tony Band. So Cincinnati, how long did you do it in Cincy? Uh, six years. It's six a horrible years. place, right? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my hometown, so you know. Yeah, you're no. from Ohio. Though, yeah, no, know? I know, and I agree that it's a horrible place, which <laughs> makes, which makes for you know a strong personality. That's it. What'd you do in Cincinnati for work? Uh, you know, so a little nickel bags here and there. You know, just nickel nickel bags. A little nickel bags. All right. Have what do you uh What do you do for work now? Uh, still sell a little nickel bag. <laughs> <laughs> still, still Nobody <laughs>, laughs harder at you than you do, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Who buys so a nickel bag? It's 2017. They don't even have my nickel bag customers. <laughs> wow. How many how many nickel bags do you sell on average per day? Mm, about three. So fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm I'm moving up. <laughs> it started at one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are you being <laughs> serious? At one. Are you making jokes? Or are, you, what, are you being serious? Is that how you make your living? Selling no, pot know. at $5 a pop? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Wow. I no, I don't know, Cal. <laughs> I've <laughs> never really had a serious conversation That's the black with people you were like, we'll talk later. Jack, is this true? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> how many nickel bags did you sell today, Jack? <laughs> 15 before I came on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack. <laughs> Cal, I wish you were the laugh track at all of these shows. Oh, are, man. You have quite the cackle. I Cal, wish he talked more about his kids. You have kids? I got a son, man. He said oh. in the beginning of his set. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, I got a son. He just turned 13 July 5th. So, oh, that, oh, wow. Yeah. He's Cal, Cal, do you ever sell any <laughs> pumpernickel bags? What'd you say? You ever sell any pumpernickel bags? <laughs> Find them at Whole Foods. I can get my hands on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the word of the day, pumpernickel, pumpernickel everybody. Nickels. Look for it to make a return at some point later on in the show. I like pumpernickel. Do you know where your father's at? <laughs> we must find your father. 
Yeah, I do, you know. Yeah, I know where he's at, you know. He's on TNT. <laughs> he said, Charles Barkley's my father. Your son live with you? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I wish I would have thought of that. Uh, does your son live with you? No, he lives in Cincinnati, so I fly back and forth. So You fly back and forth a yeah. lot without a seatbelt on, like a great father yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thug life, baby, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you, you thought he could support a son with three nickel bags a day? <laughs> <laughs> Rearage. Uh, Benji, what, do you, what are your thoughts about Cal? What do you think when you see a specimen like this, Benji? Well, you, yeah, you, you brought up some information you didn't explore because at first you were like, it's tough being black and flying on planes. And I'm like, all right, where's he going with this? And then you didn't bring up race again. It was just something you said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was almost it was almost like if the seatbelt only held you back if you were white. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was thinking, you know. I learned something yeah, new. Oh, it was? I was waiting for that to... I, I didn't know the time, you know. It was, yeah. You know, Is I understand. I like that. Yeah. Is there a finish to it? Is I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Because I'm not black. I don't know what it's like to be black on an airplane. And if it's different, like, I'd like to know. It's a little different. It's a little different. Right. Jack, yeah. thoughts about this? You're a black guy. You were just in Montreal. Different. It can't be different. Is it different? Is it different? It can't be. I'm going to say it's different because there's a lot of white faces looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Jack. But it's not different. But for now, yeah, it's different. There we go, Jack. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yeah. There we go, Jack. I feel like in the sky we we're all the same. We get three fifths of a seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There it is. There it is. I love it. Like you're trying to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Cal. I Yo. mean, it was nice to meet you. Hey, uh, you too, Tony, you've been doing yeah. stand up how long now? Uh, eight years now. Eight so years. Yeah. You know. Have you thought about? What? Have you thought about TSA pre-check at all? Pre-check. Uh, yeah. Don't that cost extra? It's like so worth it, dude. Yeah. Okay. How I'm often look, do you? Looking. How often do you fly back? You obviously don't visit your son a lot. He's like, nah, it's not okay. <laughs> You know, I, I go like every other year. I don't yeah, uh, every other. Second what's your, half day. What's your favorite airline? Uh, Frontier. Spirit. Well, I get like two wow. for forty or something. Frontier. <laughs> no, Frontier's Del uh, Delta used to be American. I like American. I, don't, American. I wish I was on United. I want to be the like guy get drugged out. You know what I mean? No. Like I don't know. Like I I want to be that guy. I want to be in that situation where it's like. You get $60 million, and I walk in here with a $60 million chain. Like, oh, I made it. Like, you I know, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's what a $60 million chain is. You know? Hashtag <laughs> squad goals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've all flown United. That's not how United works. <laughs> oh, well. I don't believe you've flown on a plane. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I just don't what believe What the hell? Jay, Jay. I just really don't. And I'm Jay. trying to be on his side on some nigga shit. I'm like, yeah, he flew a bunch of planes and whatever. But he just like, he just sometimes <laughs> on planes you get Pop-Tarts. It's like they don't. That's not, <laughs> that's not what happens. Damn. So I'm going to ride with you. To that's not what happens. <laughs> I was getting Must be nice did, flying right? United, riding all those horses in the <laughs> plane. <laughs> <laughs> I love that equestrian United life. I you ever been on the aquarium on a plane? Like, what are you? <laughs> 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 he thinks United is lavish. Cal, go figure it out. Go figure out what makes uh, flying is. black different. If that's they, what you, if that's the they joke make you, you want to uh, make. They what make was? you sit in the back of the plane. Oh, oh. Joelberg. Joel, he's a Mexican. He can make those jokes, I think. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there he goes. Cal Hamilton, everybody. Yeah, you you met him here on Kill Tony. He's on Twitter at K Hamilton. K Hamilton. A L? What is that? K Hamilton underscore one. Wow. His screen name is also his password, everybody. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Make it a little more confusing. Uh oh. Joelberg, you ready for this? With an accent mark over the eye. Put your hands together for Michael Pena. The actor? Oh, we got a runner. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I didn't expect to get called, but I did. So I have a joke here for you, and um, I want to play a game <laughs> called Boom Mind Blowing. Basically, it goes like this. <laughs> the technology we hold in our hand, that of which was to make us smarter, has made us dumber. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. The lesbian who has the dildo in her hand, truly has it bigger than God ever meant it to be. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. <laughs> 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 
I'm almost out of time, but it's still mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. The doctor who said who was not. Mind-blowing. <laughs> That's that it. that def <laughs> that definitely blew all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael Pena, wow. Sorry. I thought for sure maybe a magic trick was coming <laughs> or uh, some type I of uh, you know jokes are right here. overall anyway. lesson or perhaps a pamphlet you were gonna give out about something. I, 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 a comedy school. <laughs> Tony, I need to get to my DeLorean immediately to make sure I go back in time to prevent this set from ever happening. <laughs> That's why he's Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. A true good doctor good, good, good. of comedy. Tony, I got to be clear. <laughs> yes. You said, are you ready, because it was a Latino last name, not because I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know this guy. No. Well, it is Latino. Michael, uh, have you ever done stand-up before? Nope. This was your first time. Congratulations. Yep. <laughs> there you go. He still hasn't done it. You're so damn good. We are m going to make you retire right now okay, on you. top <laughs> of it all. Uh, you know, it's cl closed strong, closed undefeated. Pull a Mayweather, you know. Okay, Want to know. Yes, there's the boxing music I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what do you do for work? I'm a software engineer. A software engineer. What kind of software? Uh, the kind you write. The kind that you write? Yes. Mind-blowing software. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it is. Oh, I write software for the internet. Like what? Uh, well, it's a streaming platform. Like what? My free uh, cams? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually a new streaming <laughs> platform that we're launching real Can soon. Can you describe it a little bit? Sure. It allows um, creatives to create their own content and upload it. So that way they can make the most money from Google. Like YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, no, because YouTube is actually sponsoring it. YouTube is sponsoring yep. your platform. Have you ever wanted to have 360 Kill Tony on that platform? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you wanted to come on board, we're launching next month. Mm. Oh, well, oh, there you go. Well. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's called Column Space. Column Space? ColumnSpace.com. Sounds like a successful company. Well, not yet. Did you we create will. it yourself? Yeah, we wrote it, me and another developer out of Arizona. What made you want to do stand-up comedy here tonight? I thought it'd just be kind of fun to get and have a chat. And is this something that you've thought about for a while, or did you decide this um, today? No, I decided that, you know, I just decided I wanted to try it. Michael, when? I need Michael. to know when. I want to know what when? just happened. Michael, <laughs> just, <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't need to try to be funny. We, this is a part of the show where I try to get maybe a compelling interview sure. out of the guests. So what drew this out of you? Answer honestly. Well, I used to work in corporate America. Right. And uh, talking to a lot of corporate types, it was kind of fun because I used to look at them as being little kids. I used to coach for 20 years. So it was just kind of fun to talk to them as adults but never let them know that they were talking. I Would you talking coach? Adults. Gymnastics. Okay. Yeah. You got mad uh, weekend dad energy. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know, like, you remind me of this teacher I once had who, like, whose family left him, and then he came in, and he just kept trying to be funny to get over the fact that some tragic shit just happened. <laughs> and then you just up, and your voice cracks. So I was like, this nigga about to cry, and I don't want to <laughs> deal with a grown man crying because, you know, my life is going good. I don't want my shit reflected on your shit. You ever been married, Michael? No, 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 no. I'm not no. Wow, you said no eight times to that <laughs> uh, in less than a second. No, 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 no. Like, what exactly has well, happened to you, Michael? I'm, I'm gay, so I, I can't. Oh, get perfect. Yeah. So you haven't been gay married either? No, not either. Yeah, are you currently in a relationship? I haven't had a date in five years. <laughs> <laughs> Well, somebody's going to want to fuck that tight asshole tonight. <laughs> See, in the gay world, I bet that's like a cool thing. Like, well, yeah, I haven't fucked in five. The people are like, he's <laughs> right. <laughs> Such a tight butthole, man. I'm going to go pop that guy's fucking five-year cherry. Is that how, you can't pop a cherry in the gay world. What do they call that? Pop a chocolate sundae or something like that? <laughs> well, they're called manginas, first of all. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Good Lord. Open up a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, baby. Question: Why don't sure. why don't you if you want to attract gay men why don't you dress better? Oh, because I don't really want to attract gay men. You want to? What do you what are, what are you trying to attract? Oh, no, I'm just having fun. He what wants to turn a straight guy into a gay <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. We gotta get you in some gay clothes. We gotta get you in like tight Varvados. We 
dad bod you up, and there's there's a there's a market for your gayness. Oh, no. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> what's the sound coming out of your butt, Michael? Oh God! <laughs> live live audio. Is that a gerbil? Jesus. My, Michael, I have a serious question. If sure. if you, uh, it, it sounds like you're oh. a sim, you si- I semi successful as a businessman. So sure. then, how come your stand up was so balls fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had some good jokes in my head. I just got on the stage and just kind of forgot them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can you tell one of the ones you had that you didn't get to say? Just one. Oh, I blanked out my first time on stage yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Have yeah. you thought about not writing your jokes in binary code? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> It's only one digit at a time. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Oh, so Michael, tell me something sure. else. Um, uh, what? Uh, what are you? Are you gonna do this again? Wait, did you say you forgot some of the things you wanted to talk about? Oh, I had a lot of things I was gonna say, but it's okay. It's we, fun. Can, no, don't worry, Michael. I want to <laughs> know one of the other things that you were going to say. Oh, I want to see. One of the other w- jokes I yeah. was going to say? You have a little list there? I have a list. On a business card? Yep. <laughs> Shit's getting serious. Here's other words <laughs> everything on his list is just synonyms for mind blowing. What was that? <laughs> Head splitting. Please don't tell that next joke or I'll fade out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. Wait. That's okay. I'll pass on that. Okay. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> I mean, really? Did you really have something written down? Yeah, I had some bunch of them. I want to hear one. Come on. You want to hear Don't one? Don't be shy, Michael. It can't <laughs> listen. To, they, they want you. They want to see what you're. This is your first time. I like <laughs> ten years and fucking three months ago in that room next door. I signed up for my first open mic. I prepped for months for three minutes. I'm not. This is not a fake story. There's witnesses to this. I prepped for months for three fucking minutes. Signed up for the open mic, got lucky enough to be number 14 out of 15 that night. He said my name, and I blanked out completely. (laughs) And look, now I'm one of the top young rising comedians in the world. Oh. My point is, is there's nothing wrong with you being nervous and blanking out and everything. And don't, these people all want you to do good. So read another joke. It doesn't even (laughs) have to be a good one. There's no pressure. (laughs) Well, I'm a Mexican, and I grew up from a Mexican family. And when I came out gay, I tried to kill myself. When I did so, my mom came up to me and she says, Mijo, ¿por qué dice eso? And I said, Mom, I don't know. She goes, well, if you're going to do it next time, don't drink my menopause pills. (laughs) (laughs) Is that, first of all, there you go. (laughs) See, that felt good, right? That little, that laugh. (laughs) <laughs> is that true? Did you really try to kill yourself at some point? Yeah, 35 <coughs> years ago. 35 years ago. That was hard for you to come out to your family? Uh, to the world, everybody. Yeah. I was an athlete. I was a coach. It was a different time back then. You were a gymnastics yeah. coach, and, and yeah. that's how you told them that you were gay. No. <laughs> Ironically, there's not very many gay gymnasts there's that are th- men. There's not? No, there's not. Actually. The ones on the, the rings? No, oh, they're definitely not gay. <laughs> they're not gay? <laughs> oh, no. Really? They, I've never the seen them the jump biceps? off and, like, no. fuck a chick right out of one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. They do. <laughs> All right, Michael. Well, we're going to let you go. Thank there he goes, you. Michael Thank Pena. You. Off the hook. His first time ever on stage, people. Come on. You guys need to chug your drinks a little bit to get a little more energy, whatever it takes right now. You guys are a little bit chill. Uh, Josh Martin? Josh Martin, are you in the room? Should I do an intro right now? Ladies and gentlemen, joining the guest panel, put your hands together for Ron White! (laughs) Woo! That's a standing ovation. If you're watching on 360, Check that out. You can turn around in VR and see a standing ovation for the great Ron White. Coming in fully loaded for you podcast listeners, a bottle of his company, number one Fuck tequila, yeah. which I'm not kidding, is the fucking best tequila I've ever had in my life. And he's coming in with seven empty giant rocks glasses. <laughs> Are you guys ready to get this fucking party started? Level two, upgrade.
Kill Tony 224. We're alive in virtual reality right now, Ron, for this podcast. Yeah, that tube right there makes it so that people can, with a helmet on or just their phone, they can see you and they can see the audience. And You're making my ears hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going uh, to pull another name out of the bucket while you pour us all some drinks. That sound cool? Right, we'll watch a guy do 60 seconds right, uninterrupted. Yeah. You guys ready to continue the show with the great Ron White? Speed weed. Oh, yeah, L.A. Speed weed. Uh, hooking it up today as well. All right, Joel, I think you're going to like this. Put your hands together for Amy Gonzalez. Yeah, from right there. So far, I like it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> my name is Amy. My real name is Amy Peterson Gonzalez. You know, I wonder why I'm talking like this. You know, my dad is white from Minnesota, and my mom is from Venezuela. She's Latina. I call that cafe con leche. You know, well, my generation will be dread leche. <laughs> so you know, um, all the time people ask me like, "Where are you from?" No, like, okay, where's the accent from? I say, well, you know. Uh, you sound from Minnesota? <laughs> no, <it's laughs> no, and you sound like, no, with, with this accent, you think I'm sound from Minnesota? And then you think I'm a stupid, you know? So, no, it is. So, on, even, where's your name? <laughs> Tim. <laughs> if you call your girlfriend on the phone last night, if the men answer the, bo the, the, you know, the uh, cell phone, do you think it's your girlfriend? No? Yeah? So it's like, you know, so I'm, it's not, I'm not the one that with the problem, you know? So it's like accent, you know? <laughs> um, Amy Gonzalez. I miss it up some words. Amy Gonzalez. Mira, I, okay, I talk like a doctor. Amy, Amy, fly. Amy. That part, that, that, Amy, that. Th that part's over, Amy. Over here, Amy. Amy. You got. You got to listen up now. <laughs> Hi, Amy. It's over here now. Amy. Damn. The dumb, first joke dumb, that dumb, you did. Dumb, dumb. The first joke that you did was so obvious, I didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm like, surely that's not it. And look for the next angle on this particular piece of comedy. I, th I think you're adorable, and yeah. I think you just get a little smoother at it, and a little calmer, and then, you know, next thing you know, you'll be an open mic. <laughs> <laughs> you will. <laughs> you will. That's not, that's what you're looking for, right? <laughs> that's the greatest thing that's ever been said on this show. 224 episodes. Oh, get back, Amy. You weren't just getting started. This is one of your first times on stage. Am I correct in assuming that? Can you grab the microphone and put it in front of your face? Thank uh, you. It's one of the clues. First time? Second time. Second time. Where was your first time at? Uh, up in the Bali, North Hollywood. Wow, you really are that <laughs> Latina, huh? <laughs> I feel like this whole Minneapolis, Iowa thing is all a story, and like you walked across the border earlier today. <laughs> Hello, I am Amy Gantara. I've yeah. been on stage, but not without a donkey. Shoulder. <laughs> 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 Listen to the crowd. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Everybody loves Jolbert. You just got taken out by your own kind, Amy. <laughs> what do you do for work? I'm in the development of products. The development of products? Yes. <laughs> I am in the development of products. I do the um, Fruit um, stand? fittings and um, <laughs> patterns for a designer. Wait, what is it? I saw the venom, I saw when you do assistant of the tailor. So I just do when the patterns. UFC sets off the tailor? Assistant of the tailoring. Assistant you look like you take care of birds. <laughs> <laughs> That's my father, Patty Reagan, right there. <laughs> You're in the development of what kind of products? Uh, clothing. Clothing. Yes. All right. 
Is, is this some of your work that you're wearing? No. <laughs> Style, where we're going, we don't need style. <laughs> <laughs> the donkey, the Mets, the Queens, yes. It's just uh, like a fancy way to say you work in a sweatshop. <laughs> yeah. Amy, you know, how, you Amy you know, how long have, have you wanted to do stand-up comedy? Well, I want to try because I want to, you know, make uh, people happy with my accent. But, um, you know, it, it, it is really, getting on the stage is a lot of fears, but I will work it out. So... But you don't even let me continue with my, you know. You only do one minute. That's yeah, the whole show. There's a format here. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason. There's a time limit on this kind of a. We need to go back gizmo. to the border. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Tijuana, then. I can't walk the border. I go to Tijuana anytime. Amy, what are some interesting qualities about you so that maybe we can figure out some stuff that you could talk about that might be, you know, interesting? So, like, what are some things about your life, like, you know, about, do uh, you, know, you have any fun hobbies or yes. anything you like to do? Yes, when I lived in New York for 15 years, you know, um, I called my lawyer, I said, I want to see the junkies. I said, well, you can see junkies all over in the corner. And then, and I'm like, going to stop you. I'm positive nobody has any idea what you're saying right now. I can't, Wait, no, 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 the donkeys? No, she, did, she was no, saying that she junkie. did donkey shows. <laughs> the junkies? Donkeys. Junkies. So, yeah, she's no, junkies no, in the no, corner. No, when I see the junkie, what's the junkie? So when the junkies, I, my lawyer said, send me the wrong tickets. And they, <laughs> and they're going to see so, the donkeys, the meds. And I'd like to introduce you to Amy Gonzalez's new translator, Joel, Joel Berg Jimenez, ladies Hola, and gentlemen. Hola, bueno. Amy. Uh, muy contento de estar aquí contigo con todos. <laughs> I'll be translating for her. Go ahead, Amy. What was the uh, what was the answer? You better there? speak Spanish, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying about junkies? Donkeys? The, the donkey, the New York Mets and Queens. He sent me the wrong tickets, you know. I'm, I'm trying to tell you something about my life, and then you know, but whatever it is. So even in New York, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So oh shit. Um, even in New York, uh, I work as a stand-in for even the actress Eva Mendes and the lady for Jennifer, Gonz uh, Jennifer Lopez. She fired me after two hours. She cannot handle my beauty, you know? You and got to work with Jennifer Lopez? Yeah. <laughs> Yenny. Yes, I did a stand for her, but in the end, I also Yenny on the block? <laughs> yes. Anyways, and also, you know, uh, people tell me, like, I'm sound like a Sofia Vergara. I don't want to sound like I have a dick in my mouth, you know? Oh. No. You already definitely sound like you already have a dick in your mouth, Amy. <laughs> Nobody has any idea what you're saying. Wow. How long have you been trying to speak English for? <laughs> That's a really good question, if you think about it. Since I um, born, I guess. Where were you born? Venezuela. You were born in Minnesota and your accent. No, Venezuela. <laughs> your Venezuela. accent is thicker than Aphrodite's oh, wow. ass, my friend. I mean, that is a thick Minnesota accent. Wow. What you say? I'm from the deep south of Venezuela. I am from, from the deep from south of Venezuela. Venezuela. Yes. Yes. And when did you come here? When did you come here? Uh, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, so you can, you can speak... Way so this better whole English Minnesota right thing was all bullshit. No, I just want to talk like this. I just want to talk like this. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you wait. choose to. You think talking like that makes it funnier? I'm just asking. I don't know why. Because you I will give you a golden note right now. It's only hot in a massage parlor. <laughs> Brian, we have sponsors now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if, you, uh, if you're a masseuse looking for a job, go on ZipRecruiter. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, cheer I for that. Cheer for that. Now you all owe us $3,000 <laughs> that we just lost, you fucking idiots. I mean, a legit masseuse. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm like kidding. I'm Wait, cool. that's a lot of accents. <laughs> <laughs> Red band. Woo! Red band. All right, Amy. Red band. What'd I do this time? A Amy, uh, you don't need to go with a thicker accent. You need to think of, you know. Lighten it up yeah. so people can understand what you're saying. Yes, it's I very important. It's the mo perhaps the most important thing is people hearing you and knowing what you're trying to say. Okay. Thank she, you so much. She had a good opening move. She grabbed a water and drank it. I, 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 I think you're sassy. I think you've got great stage presence. I think a little bit of confidence, and it was next thing you know, will be the next thing you know. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
there you go. The Kill Tony debut of Amy Gonzalez. That's yeah. a storyline that should be interesting you, to watch develop. <laughs> there she goes, Amy Gonzalez. Hey, listen, you think this is easy? You come up here with a really shitty plan and see if it works. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen a room become a rally so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a fun show. You guys having fun out there? <laughs> Put your hands together for your next comedian. An uninterrupted 60 seconds goes to Brandon Daly. <laughs> I don't see Brandon moving. I don't see movement. I don't see movement. No movement. Put your hands together for Florentina Tanase. Uh, I recently became vegetarian because uh, I've always wanted to be better than other people and it's working. Uh, it's amazing, I love it, but now that I'm vegetarian, I'm like really tired a lot um, of being right all the time, okay? I ran here, fuck you guys. Um, thank you. I have a mom. Uh, when I told her that um, I wanted to do comedy, she was like, that's a cute hobby. You'll never make it, don't make fun of God. I respect my mom, and I told her. I won't make fun of God, Mom. I'll just make fun of real things. And then... <laughs> she, ha she had a heart attack and died. Don't laugh at that. She had a heart attack and died. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She doesn't have a heart, guys. Keep up. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm Florentina. Thank you. With exactly one minute, Florentina Tanase coming in. Laying down exactly how it goes when it all goes right. We just watched a couple first-timers basically back-to-back. -back. How long have you been doing stand-up? That was clearly very well executed. Uh, a year and a half. year and a half. Where at? San Francisco. Did you just move here? No, I'm just visiting, uh, doing some shows. You live in San Fran full-time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? San Francisco. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's our mascot, yeah. Totally got it. A year and a half in San Fran. Yeah. How do you? What do you do for a living? I'm an X-ray tech. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> are you? Are you Latino? Uh, no. <laughs> ah, shit! I thought we had some redemption finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Romanian is Latin-based, I guess. That's <coughs> close enough. All right. Do you work in a lab? Uh, I work at. In the hospital. It's not a lab. It's whoa, like wow, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you got the doc all excited. No bones about that. <laughs> that was both a doctor and an x ray joke. Do you do. And a boner joke. It was actually all three. <laughs> do you x ray things all the time just for fun because you can? No. No? How do you think x-rays work? What do you think is inside of stuff? Like, I would look I mean, at my dick. I'd put, like, like pencils on my dick and see how far I mean, it could I go don't have to find how would you? How would you look at your dick? Would you get one of those things that they use at the dentist's office to, like, put alongside of it and really have to, like, aim your dick? <laughs> like, put your dick into one of those yeah. little tubes? Yes. I do that all day. You caught me. You have a dick? Yeah, totally. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone's body through x-rays? Oh. oh. Come on. There's no doctor Everyone, patient. Everyone, uh, er, you, you guys are weird. I'm just saying. As patients, uh, I've seen a, shoe? a guy it? try to put a hook in his penis. Is oh. this Michael Pena? Got, I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that was good. Uh, yeah, people do weird shit. And then they blame their wives. Like, oh, I don't know how that got there. So. It was awesome. a, what kind of hook? Awesome. I don't know. Like what do you guys hook? use? I don't know. What do I've we use? I don't what use kind hook? of hook? <laughs> What kind of hook do we use it to I put it? I don't know. It, it, it looked like a hook, and he put it in, in the tip in of his, his penis. penis. Oh. And then it, I guess he gets off from that. I don't know. And then that. he lost the hook inside him? He couldn't. It got stuck. When you, when, when you hooks part do. Of the yeah, we had oh. So Michael Hutchins was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, died of beating off in the <laughs> NXS band. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, so it, it was the biggest bass that I caught that year. Instead of having a dick in his dick, he was dead, which would be... Slightly better. 
Well, <laughs> than being alive with a hook in your dick. Yeah. In, in all fairness, he could have been a gay pirate. Or it could, <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Of it could have been a trouser trout. <laughs> Hopefully his dick was straight, not crooked, because then he'd have a hook on top of a hook. Florentina, is that a wedding ring? Yeah. How long have you been married? Uh, a year. What does your husband do? Damn, I was going to invite her <laughs> to the Enchantment of the Sea Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he works in IT. I don't know. It's internet stuff. Does that really turn know. you on? No. That's not why I'm married. Wait, are, y- are you sure this isn't Michael Pena? <laughs> I've got to go back to the future to prevent their marriage. <laughs> what brought you to LA? Why are you here? Uh, I did a, a show yesterday, and then I'm doing going to New York. Oh, or yeah. no, on sat- Saturday, yeah. Okay. You're staying all week for a show on Saturday? I leave tomorrow. Oh. Oh. I just came out here to do shows and do open mics. And oh, stuff you were on a show on Saturday. Any yeah. highlights of your trip to L.A.? Do anything fun? See anything cool? Uh, I stayed up till 4, which is, like, really exciting for me. I <laughs> wow, that's exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything fun. I just wanted to relax, and that's it. Are, yeah. do you ha- are you s- Actually, like this is really exciting because I listen to your guys' podcast. So I you do? Excited. Yeah. Were you at the one in San Francisco that we did with Moshe Kesher and Natasha Leggero? No, I was here. So. Oh, well. It happens. Yeah. I, got a, qu- is I got a question. Do you ever beat a man within an inch of his life? <laughs> Well, have you? Have you, Florentina? Have you? Answer uh, him! <laughs> <laughs> Who told you? No, uh... That's my McFly, Patty Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Your comedy's great. Well executed. You have, yeah. the, you have that good timing and beats thing where you measure it out and you know how to, like, flip it around and let us know that the joke's over. It's really cool. Uh, what is something, <laughs> like, about you that is, um, like, a hobby or interesting? You know what I want to ask? You seem like such a good person. You seem like a young substitute teacher. <laughs> I want to know, like, what the craziest thing about you is or the wildest <laughs> thing, truly, that you've, like, ever done. Staying up till four, we get it. That was this week. But, like... I mean, that. right, guys? Come on! Oh, nope. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Answer the question. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not that... I'm wildest I'm not thing. That ab- then you would name I the wildest I thing about you. If there isn't one, you don't need to say that. You would just name the wildest thing about you. Let you so let's say you had a chance to become a 60-year-old man's fourth wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, you've got one. <laughs> you've got a chance to become it. And I promise not to take care of myself either. I guess I'm going to smoke and drink. <laughs> and <laughs> I guess that the craziest thing would be like asking him out on a date. <laughs> you <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, what? No, I don't know. No. Uh, Have you ever peed in a beaker before? <laughs> I work at a, I mean I work at a hospital. I can't be that ridiculous. <laughs> All right, th- what's your favorite category of porn? <laughs> oh, stop that. I'm going to stick it on my question. I want to know what okay. the craziest thing about you is. I want you to think for a second and answer it honestly. You don't have to be funny. What is something like And you don't have to have ever told anybody ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be your biggest secret if you I'll want. Just tell my closest friends here. That's great. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't. I'm. I guess I'm boring. That's awesome. One yeah. time, I came in a ten-year-old science experiment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, Doc gave you one. Come on. What's something that you've done before, even as a child, okay. perhaps? You could play it safe and go all the way that far back. What? Uh, well, okay. I've you have something. I, not as not as a, a child. I was. Go ahead. I was dating this guy, and he wanted to have sex in the car, and we went. A DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> Did he try to put it in your flux oh crepacitor? <laughs> very crepacitor? Very crepacitor? It's a butt joke. And it was, it was uh, behind this business, and after we were done, like they ha- I guess they had closed, they had locked us in, so we couldn't get out of the parking lot. Ah, oh, that's okay. See, that's a good answer. W- right? What was the business? <laughs> no idea. Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> It was perfect. We just stayed there till morning, took care of the duty. <laughs> Dumped it right in the dumpster. <laughs> but you did have sex with him in the car. Yeah. Do you remember what kind of car it was? It was a white Volvo. Volvo. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Jiggle what? That, <laughs> that car saved my life, I will say. I fell asleep driving. And you have great parents. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. How great are her parents? <laughs> really great. You're lying. lying. She had car sex once, and it was in the safest (laughs) car possible. (laughs) (laughs) 
you, and you're so like. She used normal. her seatbelt during I, it too. Thank you. <laughs> your husband's got a good job. I think you're great. Thank I want to be more like you. Oh wait, you're the guy who who helped me with my water thing over there. Oh yeah, I helped you Thanks, earlier man. get water. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that was good. That was good for the live show. Yeah. <laughs> there she goes, everybody. Florentina Tanase. I'm gonna be in San Francisco at the end of August at Cops Comedy Club with Jeremiah Watkins. I love San Francisco. I helped her get water. Look how nice she is. You're not gonna help her get water? It's time to go back That's to the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> back to the bucket we go. This looks like an ex extremely, extremely perfect handwriting. The name of a perfectly white, white man. Oh, Let's see what happens here. Put your hands together for Gary M. Anderson. <laughs> Gary M. Anderson, I'm excited to hear what this, he has such an interesting name. Oh, is that Gary running away? Gary, get over here. Get over here, Gary. Put your hands together for Nicole Buchanan. Bop from deep. Bop. There she comes. Boy, were you wrong. Nicole Buchanan, everybody. Hey, guys. I, uh, I recently lost my virginity and then got dumped by the guy who took my virginity. Uh, so I decided I need, like, a rebound dick. And um, I didn't... Imagine that I'd be so emotional about that, about sleeping with the first guy after I... So I cried after sex. I cried. And uh, instead of being concerned, the guy looked me in the eye and goes, Oh, it's okay. It's normal to cry after you orgasm that many times. <laughs> How are you that confident? Only a guy could look at a grown man crying, or a grown woman crying and be like, Awesome, must be my dick. It must be so good. I would never look at a grown man crying after sex and be like, yeah, it must be his cherry pie. <laughs> Tastes so good to make a grown man cry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want that level of confidence. It's normal to cry after you orgasm that many times. Yeah, I do feel like crying after I orgasm zero times. Fuck you. <laughs> Nicole Buchanan. How about this? The ladies coming in. Back to back. Showing how it's done. When you said you were looking for some rebound, Dick, I thought you were going to say that you fucked Dennis Rodman. That was my hope. Oh, Jesus. So, and I don't know how many people caught that warrant joke. Uh, yeah. Who, by round of applause, who I did? Caught the warrant joke? Sweet. Cherry pie. Cherry pie. Common. Yeah. yeah, that might be a little obscure for your beginning of comedy. I mean, okay. not that this linguist, but I'm just giving you a piece of advice because I know almost every fucking thing there is to know. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take advice from you any day, Ron. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole, you're a little killer. You've been on the show a few times. Always fun. Yeah. Guys, any first impressions down there? Jack, Benji, any thoughts about Nicole? I thought you were super funny. I feel really bad. You Was this recently that you cried? Uh, it, maybe like eight or nine months ago. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Well, the baby should be coming out any day now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, think, think I hear it now. Yeah. Comedy's born from tragedy, so you know, <laughs> it was lucky in a way. You bounce back strong, though, right? You you moving on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been tons of dick since then. It's been yeah. Wow, yeah. is that is that true? She she actually a couple weeks ago she screamed out how much she loved anal sex. So I we know. Okay. No. No, no, this really happened. Look, <laughs> look, she has a story about this. Is this true? No, it's not. So right. It's like, cause Pat and Jeremiah do their like anal thing or whatever. The Let me put it in your butt song. It's a song. And I was enjoying the song. And I was really like, taking the art out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then now Brian won't stop calling me. Well, you like screamed out, song. yeah, it'll sex. Because, I don't know, I was enjoying the song. Very good. Nicole, what do you, yeah. how do you survive? How do I survive? Yeah, how do you make money? Oh, I work at Starbucks. Whoa, yeah. you do? Yeah, Damn. it fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> how long have you been doing that for? Since, like, December. Huh. How do you feel about being a 60-year-old man's fourth wife? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about it, Nicole? I mean, if I don't have to work at Starbucks anymore, sure. Oh, uh, no, you don't have to work at Starbucks. <laughs> 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 What's your least favorite part about working at Starbucks? Am I going to get fired from this? I, 
You feel like you're going to get fired? Because it, well, okay, because... Do you know how <laughs> easy it is to work at Starbucks? You can't get... <laughs> you're fine. Because it's in fucking Beverly Hills, and the people come in are fucking assholes. Really? This guy came out of the bathroom and, like, was, like, you're out of toilet paper and flicked water on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you fucking serious? Have you talked hey, I about in this Beverly on Hills stage That is perfectly fucking normal, yeah. woman. <laughs> That's how you tell somebody there's no goddamn toilet paper. You <laughs> it you're lucky you wasn't pissed. Don't yeah, you don't know. You don't know what it was. Like I wiped my dick with my yeah. hand. Here you go. That sounded no. like a christening. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got <laughs> not baptized, but you got frappized. Yeah, it was fucking... Starbucks, uh, it's a Starbucks reference. No, frap. Yeah, you, don't have, you don't have to accept that shit if you don't want it. You don't have to. What, what, what was your reaction when that happened? Did you say anything? Because you're a comedian. I would have said shit, even if I was a Starbucks employee. No, I mean, I in didn't. all fairness, her face is already wet from all the tears that she's been Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> so People it's just say shit to me all the time, and I can't say anything because I need a job. Yes, you can say something. <laughs> I'm so, I feel, I'm, I, this all sounds really rough. <laughs> Oppressed. But it's, Okay, beaten I'm by the corporate comedy. fucking <laughs> hammer that Have is you Starbucks. You know, you can only get about seven of those jobs a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how long it takes me to get fired at fucking Starbucks? Yeah, why don't you go find a nice, quiet place to fuck yourself? <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. Is it true that you've been hooking up with a lot of guys lately? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I guess it would depend on what you mean by a lot. Uh, we would. Would you say you've been hooking up with a venti amount of guys lately? I mean, more, or, more or than I did. Because oh fuck! More than I did because it took me like 22 years to lose my virginity. So I'm just like making up for lost time, I guess. So, so like, how many are you averaging, say, like per month? Per day, oh, per Jesus day, per day. Christ. I don't know. I can tell you it's been a year since I lost my virginity and slept with five people. Ooh. Whoa, you've reached your fox capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> all uh, all uh, normal, like, wha what's your type? White guys, tall, tall white guys? You just <laughs> described short. what you know my ex-boyfriend looks what? like. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Don't want no I'm short dick, I'm man. Do you want to be a 23-year-old uh, black comedian's first wife? <laughs> no, I'm, that's my... Jack have you ever thought about having sex with Jack. a black man? I have. Uh, have you, what? Have you, have you yeah. done it? You have done it in the How year... How'd it go? It was great. It was the best. It was the best one. For sure. Wow. <laughs> it was the best. <laughs> now, wait a minute. We're wow. going to have a fuck-off right here. Take <laughs> Ron White versus Ron I'll, Black. I'll fuck you till you can't make a fist. <laughs> I'll fuck you till you're laying there going, I can't even pick up a pen to write down my fucking phone number. That's a lot so, of talk without Viagra. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Nobody said anything Fuck about war. no Viagra. Fuck war. Old white guys versus young black guys. There's only war. one way to settle this. Double penetration fuck war. Uh, <laughs> Jack gets the pussy, Ron in the butthole. Uh, yeah, okay. Welcome to uh, Mary Fuck Kill Tony. Um, Nicole, are you going to keep your clothes on for this? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, Nicole. Well, that's fucking <laughs> awesome. You're, every time you come on the show, it's always a funny new minute. It's good to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Nicole Buchanan, everybody. Every single week, we have an amazing fucking comedian. She's one of all of our favorite people. She is a regular, the only soul regular on the show. She writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. She's the baby Frankenstein of Kill Tony. Put your hands together for the great Ali Makovsky. In the flesh. I'm going to New York in September. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm I'm flying out September 11th. <laughs> People are like, <gasps> you're going on September 11th? I'm like, baby, lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so against terrorism, but you can't say it's all bad. My flight was so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide or suicide bombers, like you know, 
they kill for 72 virgins, and I just want to get 72 virgin American flights for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> My dad just watched the NWA movie. He's a little late. <laughs> But he was like, Allie, this movie's so good. When they say the N-word, it sounds so cool. <laughs> Could I finish? Yep. He's like, when they say the N-word, it sounds so cool. When I say it, it doesn't sound the same. <laughs> and then he proceeded to say the N-word. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, it's not supposed to sound cool when you say it. That's like if you're at work and one of your coworkers calls you Dad. It's not the same. <laughs> Should have left on the suicide. <laughs> <laughs> you live and you learn, kiddo. But that is by far one of my favorite jokes that I've heard in a long time from anyone. That was very funny. It's great. Thank you. Uh, is that true? What? September 11th? Is that ac the yeah, actual yeah, date? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm taking a red eye on September 11th. Wow. You got a good eye. That's a that was a great, great joke. Yeah. I rarely get a reaction of, of, of just uh, balls out laughter. And yep. I thought that was fucking amazing. <laughs> I, you know yeah. what? I also uh, think it's a, you have no idea what kind of creative balls it takes to come up on stage and just do one new minute a week. Mm -hmm. It's just something that, and, and it have to be able to pull it off. It's impressive. You're a great comedian. I really Thank wish you the best. You. Absolutely, I totally, hundred percent. It's hey, Ron. Could I be your fifth wife? <laughs> 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 gotta let your yeah, hair grow yeah, back. Yeah, you gotta grow your hair. It's It'll grow back corner. in that That's amount all. of time. <laughs> Man, so you're flying on 9-11. Yeah. That's gonna be it. I forgot, I wanted to add, m I had more tags about like, I wish that they would do it in nicer destinations. Like, so that way I could fly to Tahiti for cheap, or like, I wish that they would have more terrorist attacks oh, around no, Christmas. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. That makes Hawaii. sense. Hawaii. No, I like it a lot. That's funny. Yeah. How Thanks. cheap were flights in Hawaii when they got bombed? Like you could like Pearl even Harbor. say that shit. I'm Pearl Harbor. To Hawaii. I always I, Pearl now Harbor. I'm gonna. I got tickets to Hawaii for Pearl Harbor. That's I'm funny. going to. Uh, I'm going to visit uh, the Alamo. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a. R I mean, really, really fucking that's funny. Great. Especially you know, it's like a. You know, it's a smart, cool 9-11 joke. You Joel, very they're, rarely they're, they're yeah. all vacations you'll never forget. <laughs> oh. I wish I would have sat and down. You know <laughs> <laughs> Marty, we must go back in time immediately. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know you save money on 9-11, it makes sense that the Jews planned it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Anything in your normal life been interesting this past week? We always like to get a life update from you since you're the only person that's on the show every week in that position. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've been very, very broke lately, so I have peanut butter stashed in my car that I just eat with. I have, I eat peanut butter five times. I just use one finger each time so I don't double dip fingers. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's been really that's fun and exciting. Wow. Um, I Great also source of protein. Yeah. What? Yeah. Exactly. Solve all your hunger problems exactly. in a GIF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I. It, it's not a good source of protein. That's not a complete protein. You can't just eat peanut butter and think you're okay protein wise. Who's the scientist here, damn it? <laughs> Cock blocker. <laughs> There's something called a complete protein, <gasps> and you don't get it just with peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you the, who, who let Benji let the dogs out here? <laughs> Got Benji barking. Um, so you've been eating peanut butter out of a jar. Crunchy? Yeah. Creamy? Creamy. Oh. Creamy, yeah. Oh. Oh, that makes oh. me sort of sick to my yeah. stomach. Well, I mean, it's perfect because I'm like, I, I want to get, it like worked out perfectly. I got really broke at the same time. I want to get really skinny. So it's like merging both. It's interesting to me because most, uh, you know, like I was a very, 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 very struggling comedian. I used to, you know, there was a period of time where I was, you know, s crashing in my car you? and this and that, right, way, way, way <laughs> back when I worked here and stuff. And um, and uh, what the fuck was my point? It was... Um, Peanut butter? I'll tell you what your point was. I don't fucking get your poor fucking shit, okay? I, <laughs> I live I in Beverly Hills. We live like fucking pigs, don't we? And we don't get this fucking I can't eat fucking peanut butter. Fucking eat it. Who gives a shit? I, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I, think what, I think that's what he's getting at. I, I remember what it was, is okay. that I'm originally from Ohio. A lot of the struggling comedians that, 
you know, are really, really, really struggling like you are, are from another part of the country. But your family, you're from Long Beach. Yeah, and I just you're saw choosing my dad the other day. Yeah, your mom. What are you rubbing in that she's poor? Well, I mean, you could. No, she's not poor, not poor. poor. No, she's not she's poor, not poor. poor. She's, she's just from a poor butter. family. She's cute Hollywood poor. Yeah, okay. it seems like you're doing it on purpose because you just, what, refused to go home and eat a meal with your no, family? No, I, I went home to see. I was doing a show in Long Beach last night, and I was I called my dad before, and I was like, hey, do you have food at the house? And he said no. So I was like, okay, Taco Bell again. So oh. basically... Okay, so you're okay. You're not I'm, 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 I wouldn't say okay, but I'll be fine. So basically, after you decided to do stand-up comedy, you started vanishing out of your family's photo albums. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. It was All a right. long way. Allie. But I did it anyway. Well, not only one of my favorite jokes of the night, but one of my favorite jokes probably the past few weeks. Congratulations. 9-11. Cheap Very flights. Funny. Sometimes it's that simple. Just a fucking... Honest, real thing. And you can't even write that joke unless you even think about buying a flight on 9-11. That's a weird, uh, funny yeah, thing. That's really a great joke. Hey, what Allie, do you say? Tell Haley hello. Oh, Jesus. Um, you guys want to go to the bucket one more time, huh? What do you say? You guys have it in you? Audience, I said, do you want to go to the fucking bucket one more you time? Go to the fucking bucket one right more time. Right, Chris isn't clapping. George isn't clapping. Everybody, clap. Everybody, clap. Everybody takes it for granted. Everybody just takes it for granted now. Put your hands together for Sebastian Corley. From deep in the back. Make some noise for Sebastian Corley, everybody. Or not. Uh, I know what you're thinking, Sebastian. It's way too sexy of a name for a guy that looks like this. I don't look like a Sebastian. I look like Chris Pratt fucked John Goodman. <laughs> That's too real. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, my buddy doesn't like that joke. He's like, man, looks don't matter. You've heard that, right? Looks don't matter, which is weird because they kind of fucking do. Uh, like, I know for a fact, if I lost weight, I'd be having more sex. I mean, it works for Jared from Subway, right? <laughs> you don't have to like that joke, but let's be honest. No one was hopping on Uncle Jared's van in the before picture. That is, <laughs> shit did not happen. Uh, now, I'm really over women, uh, especially, like, hot women my age. Like, I'm 23 years old, and I look at hot women my age the same way a 75-year-old man must look at hot women my age. <laughs> like... It's a nice fantasy, but unless I'm rich, I will never get away with killing one. Um, <laughs> that's my Sebastian song. Corley. Hello. How's it going? This is, this is your first time on the show, right? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing stand-up? About a year and a half. Where are you from? Uh, Orange County, originally. Originally. Or yeah, Honey, Huntington Beach. Now yeah. you live closer to here? Burbank. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long ago did you move to Burbank? like three years ago, but it's been a while since Huntington. I kind of moved around and then wound up in Burbank three years ago. What do ago. you do for work? I work at a prop house. A prop house. Warehouse for where movies. you rent out props to film and TV yeah. productions, yeah. Well, How long have you been doing that? Uh, almost, it'll be a year in September. What was your job before that? I was working uh, security at a private school down on Sunset. Security at a private school? Yeah. Wow, and that's creepy. Is that, when you, super worked, creepy, was that yeah. when you wrote that Jared joke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's back when you were still allowed within 500 feet of a school. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's your love life like, Sebastian? Um, not doing really great, but... You on uh, any dating apps or anything? I just, I just deleted all of them for the second time this year, so... Oh, wow. You're like, fuck giving this a chance. Yeah, kind of. I'm just going to clean, uh, clean off all these apps so that I get faster masturbation speed. Uh, what happened? Was there a reason? Like, did you have a bad date? Or? Uh, I had a couple bad dates. And on those apps, you're just, like, dodging hookers constantly. So it's what's annoying. wrong with that? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> open, open micers don't have hooker money. It's <laughs> Dear God, let her be a hooker. <laughs> oh. Plead, Lord. Oh, plead, Lord. Uh, so, like, for what they, one of these bad dates, can you give us an example of sort of what made it bad to you? Um, <laughs> uh, I, 
I, not catfished, but like. You wait, you got catfished? I, I kind of. You're not the catfisher? No. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> you no, got, I, I get, you guys, got you got blue whale, bro. She ha she didn't oh, have boom. a vagina. They've all been fucking weird, and like when give you're, a, you have got to give us an example. Um, all the, was it like you were girl, kissing okay. your sister? <laughs> no, this girl invited me to go to a first lit, like it was supposed to be just a hookup thing. She's like, meet me at this bar, go down, pay for parking, yeah. go in, buy a drink. Yep. Yeah, that's, ends that's, up, I know, that's, up, that's all up, customary up to that point. You thought she was going to give you a parking permit or something like that? Yeah. But this yeah. Um, excuse yeah. me, I'm outside. Can you run the permit out, please? I walk in, and it's like a work party of hers. A what? A work party at this bar that she invited me to. Yeah. So I go hang out, oh. and it was super weird. She was, like, in introducing me to everybody. Like, like we knew each other. And oh. I was like, yeah. It's and what, was the, what was that work party? Jiffy what, Lube? What was that? <laughs> Jesus, I mean, Brian. Yes. You know what? I tell you what the whole problem is. <laughs> yeah, women I, don't know how good fat guys fuck. They don't. And it's because well, I it's think you're here, what happens is I'm fucking you, but my stomach is rubbing your clit. It's the fucking amazing sensation, and chicks don't know that. But you look at him different now, right? You'd rub the fuck out of a clit with that well, gut. With if you're, I mean, I'm telling you, you're yeah. the yeah. secret to it. Secret of fucking a fat man. And I, and I know this for a reason, <laughs> is leave the engine on the ground. Don't hoist the 280-pound guy up in the air and expect him to fuck very long. You got to leave that guy on the ground, figure out a way to move on in there. And <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> ride it. Leave the engine on the ground. Yeah, do you think leave young people... Leave the engine on the ground or it ain't going to last long. Do you think I'm fucking on a trampoline? How do you think we're all <laughs> grounded in some capacity? No, some guys are up there. They're able to fucking <laughs> Joe Rogan you or whatever the fuck he does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, That's what I, girls I, do. They come home like, I got Joe Rogan like crazy. I fucked this Cirque du Soleil guy. It was just nuts. Getting Joe Rogan, I'm pretty sure, is, yeah. I, I think I think I totally understand what you're saying. That sort of yeah, makes Rogan complete would fuck sense. you till you couldn't make a fist. Right. I, I, <laughs> I think you're picky. You're not good with work parties. You're not good with hookers. I mean, there's not much else. Can, can we is, no I, I attract women that are the same exact size as me. Right, and the That's mechanics brave. are way off. Like the mechanics uh, of two big people don't work. Is together. that true? What do you? Yeah. Wh wh Why do you just poke at each other with sticks? It's like two people. <laughs> just go Asian. It's like two people with hats trying to kiss. Poke Pretty, at each that's, other with that was sticks. so exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I Why get don't you it. hire an assistant, like a third party, to like make it to officiate the fucking? I'd move all the stuff out of the way. So get it in. How it about does, you? you know? It does seem like. Let me get this right. So if you're fucking a fat chick, you're hitting it. Let's say from behind, right? Let's say you're doing it doggy style, or in this case, piggy style, or whatever the fuck you call it, right? <laughs> so you're hitting it from behind. Your belly would be running into her butt, wouldn't it? Like the bottom of your belly. Would be running into I mean, the top of it her butt. Hang like that low, it's not that crazy. Oh. But you gotta leave the engine on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hey, listen. Here's the deal, dude. dude you're a good-looking guy. You got good hair. You got great teeth. You got a beard. It's true. Chicks like that. Right. You're really funny. You know you. You know what you need? Confidence and some fucking Atkins bars. In an Asian. Yeah. Drop a fucking few pounds. You can do it. Yeah. And then you'll be getting pussy out the fucking ass. Look at you. You're doing stand-up. Yeah. He's, he's right. You could. Yeah. Who would you fuck him if he lost 20 pounds? Girls. Who would fuck him? Who, who would fuck him if he lost 20 pounds? A lot of guys want to okay, fuck Okay, let's you. hear 25 pounds. Then we get 30 pounds. Can I get 30 pounds? I hear 35 pounds. Oh, we got 40 pounds right over here. You lose 40 pounds, and this girl's going to fuck you tonight. Or not tonight, but when you lose the 40 pounds. <laughs> Coolest, coolest auction I'm ever. Just saying, I'm just saying, own it. I'm picturing the people watching for the first time on VR right now with helmets on, looking around at who's uh, <laughs> doing the bidding and who's not. It's like, yeah. the, the fat wait till you guys see how crazy this shit is in VR. Your minds are going to be absolutely blown, by the way. Oh, it, God, I'm blown. So um, and, 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 you know, you're a funny guy, so you, you, should, uh, you, you should be coming around the mountain when she comes or yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use use your swagger. But you totally have the ability to get in better shape and uh, and continue to do all the things you do in your life. 
and uh, and I think you'll be pretty successful at it. You seem smart and all that. Yep. So go get Thank em. you. Go get them. Smart, buddy. funny, go get em. Go and get em. and like this suicidal guy said in the middle of the room, don't let them change you. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, there he is. Sebastian Corley, it was nice to meet you. Thank there you. he goes. You know what, Brian? I'm feeling like I think I have a little bit more monster energy in me, and yeah. I think we should go to the bucket one more time. Wow, wow, monster energy. Wow. Extended break. I've never had an audience show up at the end of the show before, but that's, that's, that's what it's supposed to sound like. Fuck yeah, the whole time. <laughs> that was great, guys. Very good. I'm proud of this audience. They pulled another name out of the bucket. Red Ink. Different than everybody else. Put your hands together for Rich Gribbs. Kip. Gibbs? Rich Gibbs. Rich Gibbs. How's everybody doing tonight? It's a great crowd, great crowd. Uh, I want to talk about before Tinder. Remember before Tinder, we used to call it the chat line. Remember the chat line? Single ladies now in your area. Call now. I love the chat line. I met this woman named Strawberry. I later found out her name was Renee. But for the sake of this story, Strawberry. She was 40 and I was something in high school. I know the truth. I'll let you decide. 16. <laughs> she used to pick me up in front of high school. We'd buy, she'd buy me cigarettes. I used to pretend she was my mom. I'd cuss her out. It was hilarious. She fucked me up. She used to suck the shit out of my dick. I'd come, she'd keep going. It was like a checkpoint for her. She'd hop on top of me and start fucking me. I wouldn't even come anymore. Nothing come out. I just twitched a little bit. Now we've been married for 10 years, and uh, my stepson is four years older than me. <laughs> it's my time. Thank you very much. Rich Gibbs. Fuck yeah. Where are you from, Rich? I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, very cool. I'm going to be there in two weeks on the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour. Um, wow. How long you been in L.A.? Uh, I moved to L.A. in March. March. Wow, yeah. that's cool. What made you move out here? Uh, I wanted to do, well, actually, I've been in San Diego the last eight years, and then I moved to, sa uh, to L.A. to be an actor. Military? No, no, no. I what made you go to San Diego? Uh, I this girl. I was a Hooter cook. That was my first job. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I fucking love Hooters wings, man. I fucking love them. I love them. I eat there all the fucking time. I say best road food on the fucking road. You know what you're going to get? You're going to get the wing you want. And by the way, I'm smoking pot because he said it was three people. <laughs> you don't got that, Mr. White? Five fucking yeah. people. As okay. a Hooter cook, Mr. how many girls did you fuck? At Hooters? Yeah. Uh, yes. As a Hooter cook? All of them. Two. Because, really? well, I started when I was 16, so they wouldn't fuck with me because my ID was straight up and down. Right. Now, after you get molested your whole adolescent, do you automatically become a Hooter cook, <laughs> or is there... No, well, see, like, so, you know, like... Is that the, what they ask you? Like, the, you were molested as a teenager <laughs> by an older woman. Actually, my dad got me the job. He was a Hooter cook for 15 oh. years. Wow. Nepotism! Wow. <laughs> Nepotism! <laughs> Yeah, look yeah, at that. Yeah, if you don't talk about that on stage, you're barking down the wrong fucking road. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. That's fucking brilliant. Straight right from there. the dad. My the the dad. the owl doesn't fall far from the tree, it seems. <laughs> that was a Hooters joke, hey, and also a lot of orchestra music, an extremely high level of volume that drowns out everything else <laughs> happening in the show. Hey, when you said when you said that that older woman sucked the shit out of your dick, my question is, why was there poop in your dick? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I was I was a teenager. You remember being a teenager? As you do, you have poop in your dick <laughs> when you're a teenager. <laughs> All the time. Uh, so th the girl in San Diego was a Hooters girl? She was, yeah. Did you give her her Red Wings ever or just her uh, bar <laughs> barbecue and uh, mild and... That's a, a period <laughs> joke for all you idiots out there. It was, all, it was a period and a Hooters joke because he, he's the cook for the Hooters girl. Did you give her her Red Wings yeah, right, right, right. barbecue? Yeah, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What time do you think we got here? Hooters <laughs> is a... Uh, Red Wings. Yeah. Hooters has really good food. I actually like their... Uh, what? What the... That's true. I think so, too. I, I'm telling you, I, I, I literally... Yeah. I crave it. Yeah. <laughs> do you really think Hooters has good food? Yeah. Are you serious? To, well, that's, a, that's a real statement from Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, compared to a lot of places. Is this a sponsor road? that I no, do not don't, know don't about? No, don't spill <laughs> stuff and commit to things that aren't going to work. I, l I love 
I love the idea. <laughs> I love the idea of one time your dad sat you down <laughs> as you tried to tell him that you want to be an actor, and he's like, no, I want you to be a Hooters <laughs> chef. <laughs> and you bought it. <laughs> and you I fucking bought it. Hook, <laughs> line, and fucking sinker. Are you still doing that? No, no, no. I'm a server now. Ooh, at Hooters? No. You're a Hooters boy? I didn't know that. I didn't know they had that Moving where he just, wa- up. Wa- 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 up. just walks out with a black sock around his cock. <laughs> Hey, what's up? What can I get for you? Do you have a fish hook in your dick? <laughs> hey, can I have some of that p- ground pepper? That's not ground pepper, baby. <laughs> Where are you a waiter at? Uh, the Yard House at LA Live. I wow. love Yard House. Uh, <laughs> See, that's it's great. It's I fucking ate there just the other day. Really I played good. the fucking, uh, that whatever it is, right next to it, right? That's where the club. The, 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 the Novo the, or the Conga yeah. Room or the Microsoft Theater. Nah, none of those. <laughs> Rich, you in a relationship? Yeah, my girlfriend's right there. Oh, really? Where? Oh, right look at her. Oh, wow. <laughs> white girl. Little, yeah. little hot white chick in the back. Wow. <laughs> if we went back in time to the 1950s, that wouldn't be acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where'd you meet her at? Uh, San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Where at in San Diego? Pacific uh, Beach? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Rancho Penasquitos. Ranching. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. Can they all w- lined up. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. She uh, used to work at this bar that my friend worked at, and I would go because I knew that she would come in right as he got off, right. and so I pretended to like be his ride, but he lived across the street. You've been with black women before, as w- <laughs> you've been with black women as, as well before in your yeah, life, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't discriminate. Right. Uh, is there something that you prefer about white women over black women that sort of stands out to you? And uh, if you were gonna do a you porn thing. I'm just saying I would watch it. I would watch it. I would watch you fuck that girl. I really would love yeah. to. I don't know. I, I, would I don't be know if that's in that. the future. I, th- I think I see a fourth wife and a first <laughs> husband going on right here. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Is there something you prefer about white women that's a little bit different than black uh, women? No. Well, my dad always told me that it's all pink in the middle. So. Wait, was he talking about the chicken wings at uh, Hooters? or <laughs> Still nothing on that one, huh? Are you and your dad Eskimo yeah, brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Eskimo you're father and serious question. <laughs> no, we're not. Man. You're so well adjusted. Like, you seem like a, you know, your dad's telling you they're all pink in the middle. and. Well, that was just the molested. first thing he said. He was, you cut out the lights, everyone's black, and pussy doesn't have a face. and. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. Right. Fuck is that? No, I, no it really doesn't. Does it? It's it's a, a is your dad like the right? trucker, Doctor Seuss? He's like, like he's 99. <laughs> We're all pink on the inside. <laughs> Plug your nose and deal with it. If you meet her at a flying J, 99. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, what's the weirdest thing about you? Something creepy that you do, like a weird thing that you uh, do? That you I take really long shits. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now, is the this duration? Huh? Yeah. Is it the duration or the length of the turd? Right. Are we talking about like first, <laughs> like duration. like if we measured it from one end to the other, <laughs> would you get a first down? <laughs> <laughs> first down. <laughs> oh my God. He doesn't realize he's for those of you not following along, Brian Redband's losing his mind on the soundboard <laughs> for the last 15 That's minutes. Right. He, hasn't been, he doesn't even know. Thank you, Ron, for feeding him tequila. He thinks he's he's flying a kite. (laughs) (laughs) But he's not. All right, Brian. This is a live show, buddy. Jesus, just having his own little meltdown over there. Have you ever eating Hooters every day and being like, I guess I'm just a guy who takes weird shits all the time. That's me. (laughs) (laughs) See no connection with anything else. Now, are you saying that you sit on the toilet and your first turd to your last turd is a long time? Or is it you sit there for a while and you're not pushing at all? It's well, no, I do for I don't try to strain myself, obviously. uh, uh, In terms of there will be blood. But you never splatter. (laughs) How long? You know, I mean, like, flatters. the average is about 30 to 45 minutes. <laughs> what? No, that's not good. you got to get one of those porta toilet genies or whatever they're called. There you go. Do you what he water? said. What are they called? I do. I, you well, drink water? I, not as much. S- I always potty. say that there's enough water in my beer. That's my thing. Yeah, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. R- rich. Like, alcoholics <laughs> take 45 minutes. Answer me! Alcoholics fall in love at Hooters. Like, you have a... <laughs> You're s- you're drowning it all in a smile and booze, dude. You gotta figure some stuff. Jeremiah, out. have you ever hooked your poop up to a clock tower? I 
That is so stupid. That's funny, Jeremiah. <laughs> so great. Jeremiah fucking Watkins. Um, so, all right. So the length of time is a long time, and you drink a lot. Uh, do you have roommates? No, it's just me and her. You live with your girlfriend. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Is she concerned about your shits? Can we ask her? Are you worried about your... your she's worried. <laughs> is it the drinking? What is it? The food? Is it the shit in his dick? See, what's, wh what's interesting, though, is she gets fucked by a black guy, so the poop just falls immediately out of her butt. <laughs> she takes the shortest yeah. shits in the world. It's broken in, you understand, because of the gigantic black penis. The stereotype. You know Chipper Jones? <laughs> That's actually our dog's name. Chipper Jones. Our dog's name is Chipper Jones. Get the yeah, fuck out of here. Shit. Are you the fucking kidding Atlanta me? Atlanta Braves fan. <laughs> Are you fucking She's kidding me? She's a huge Atlanta Braves fan. She has the tattoo of oh, A on no her neck. Oh, shit. And Chipper and Jones, Chipper of course, Jones is our dog's off name. the uh, Hooters wagers. <laughs> and uh, this is all coming full circle. It is, yeah. We're starting to learn more about your whole fucking family, dude. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch you fuck. Everybody, <laughs> you're from Atlanta. Let's go. I Great. would hang out with you guys. I really would. She's your only roommate. What does she do for work? Uh, she's a spray tanner, and she's also a waitress slash bartender. Wow. Spray and that's good because sun, uh, sun, uh, tanning beds are illegal in Canada. Did you know that? No, I didn't. They did. They're because it's so fucking bad for you. Yeah. It's because it's the bad. It's the rays you do not want to have hit your fucking skin, yeah. fry your fucking skin, and people are getting cancer like crazy. And so it just it, now they don't give a fuck here if you can make a nickel off it. Fuck, give them cancer. Who right. Uh, spray tan though I don't doesn't. Have three happen. tanning <laughs> bed boos in there. No, I don't. Yeah, spray tan. <laughs> but spray anyway, tan. the uh, anyway. Let's go forward. Do you, you ever think when? You do you ever think when I'm you're spray tanning luck, your though. toilet that your girlfriend's <laughs> at work doing the exact same thing? Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Not a lot, though. Hmm. Mm. And your stand-up career is going okay? You've been doing a lot of spots? Um, no, this actually, so like a few years ago, I did stand-up, and then I decided I wanted to try to be an actor to get a better stage presence, so I did some theater, mm -hmm. and then I just moved out here, and I started the what Groundlings. What kind of theater? Uh, community college theater. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. I like love it community it all college starts somewhere, theater. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I started going somewhere. to movies and talking really loud. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just born with that. Joe Berg, listen to that. They love him. Uh, oh my God, <laughs> Brian. Oh boy, Rich. So I guess what I'm asking is like, what are some future goals or something like that? What's something you want to accomplish in the near future? Uh, in the near future, I mean, I just want to stop waiting tables. You know, if I could, fuck yeah, I'd do anything. Have you yeah. thought about? Have you thought about I not shitting for forty minutes during your shift? No, I <laughs> well, I don't shit for forty minutes, but I do like have it worked out. If you like shit for ten minutes, that's ten like minutes. You're not a waiter. Oh, a week, a week. You know, at the end of the year, it's like a two week paycheck. Have you ever had diarrhea before? What the fuck are you? Did that fuck <laughs> up your day? Have you, have you had diarrhea before? I got food poisoning once. How recently was that? That was years when like the IHOP had the bad eggs. That's how you got it? Yeah. You got it from IHOP? Mm -hmm. I haven't been back since. Wow. <laughs> what do you remember first happening when you realized that maybe you got food poisoning? Uh, it, more shit came out than usual <laughs> in a lesser time. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Are we still talking about poop? <laughs> <laughs> and were you, were you fucking an IHOP waitress, or are they too classy <laughs> nah. for you? Yeah, that's too classy for me, yeah. Uh, hey, so while they're talking, uh, <laughs> <coughs> are you ticklish? No. No? No. Nowhere in your body? You can try. Uh, Jeremiah, we try to tickle him a little? You're not ticklish. Have you ever been ticklish in your life and it just changed later? Uh, my granddad used, <laughs> used to tickle me. Oh, you just laughed a little, though. Well, because he, like, touched my dick. That was good. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. We're going to let him go. Rich Gibbs, ladies and gentlemen. Rich Gibbs, his first time on the show. He's on Twitter at RichieRich619. As a special gift for you all, now performing five minutes in front of all of us, it's the great Ron White. Thank you very much. That's a lot of fun to do this, Tony. Thanks for putting all this together, buddy. It's a lot of work, and I know that it's a blast for everybody to come see. Thanks for doing that. 
Uh, this entire panel, everybody up here is just fucking hilarious. And the band could be way better. They could be way better. We could get anybody off the fucking street to replace these fucking lame ass fucks. Dumb. Don't participate in my fucking show. You sit there, not with that goofy fucking blank stare, but like a young comic that has respect for one of his elders. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm 60 years old and I know two things to be true. One, anything has the uh, potential to become a DUI checkpoint if you crash your car into it. <laughs> And you can't unfuck the babysitter. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. That's what they say. They also say friends don't let friends drive drunk. Well, which one is it? Somebody's got to drive. <laughs> I was leaving a party the other day, and his buddy of mine goes, Hey, Ron, can you drive? I was like, I can drive. I can't get pulled over. <laughs> now, I won't drive drunk, but I will ride with somebody that can't blow a .08 and I know it. Because .08 is not drunk. .08 is a revenue screen for the federal fucking government. What .808 is. That ain't drunk at all. It ain't kind of drunk. This is drunk. That guy can't drive my fucking car. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I've never driven drunk because I've drank so much in my life. Now, on the back of my driver's license, there's a list of organs I need. <laughs> I was in Melbourne, Florida one time. I was driving a rental car, and uh, I'd had two drinks. I didn't make them. I don't know how strong they were. Tasted strong, whiskey and ice cubes. <laughs> and up in front of me, I see a sobriety checkpoint. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I get up there, and the cop goes, Mr. White, I smell alcohol on your breath. I said, that's been there since 77, dude. <laughs> you pour that much scotch on a tongue, it's going to smell like scotch forever. There's nothing you can do about it. We've tried everything that there is. He said, I need you to blow into this breathalyzer. And I said, well, I'm not going to do it. And uh, I'll tell you why. Because if that piece of shit's calibrated wrong, I could be convicted of doing something I didn't do. And he said, then I need you to do a field sobriety test. And I'm like, just tell me what you want me to do. He goes, I want you to stand on one foot, raise the other foot, bullshit, fuck that. I'm not doing that either. I'm not. And I'll tell you why. That's not a sobriety test. That's an agility test. And I'm not very goddamn agile. <laughs> I'm not, it's not fair to me because I'm older, I'm not in that great a shape. I may or may not be a little drunk. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> you know what a fair drunk driving test is? Drunk driving, get in the car, let's do a couple blocks. Let me show you some skills. I'm not a 21 year old puking cheap tequila through his nose. I'm a 60 year old raging alcoholic, motherfucker. <laughs> or that's what it said in the deposition. Here's another fair test, darts. <laughs> we go back to O'Leary's Pub where this whole fucking thing started. If you can beat me at darts, you can take me to fucking jail. How about that? <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Run White! <laughs> Episode two, two, four of Kill Tony. And you were here for it. The Monster Energy Outbreak Tour starts Wednesday. St. Louis, everywhere in between with the great Jeremiah Watkins. If you live anywhere in America, go to TonyHinchcliffe.com and get tickets for that. The great Jack Knight, ladies and gentlemen, has a brand new show streaming on Netflix this September. It's called Big Mouth. Anything else, Jack? J-A-K-K-N-I-G-H-T. No, nah, um, hey, Ron, are you looking to be a 60-year-old man's... Okay, I'll give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked it up. Um, enjoy your night. Get drunk. Bye bye bye. Have a seat. We're gonna we're gonna take a picture in just a second. Benji Aflalo has a brand new show called Alone Together with our great friend Little Esther Pavitsky. 
He wrote it. He created it. He made it. I watched him go for years working on this fucking thing, and he made it into a real goddamn TV show. Benji Aflalo. I always look like Steve Bannon in these fucking things. <laughs> 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 The great Ron White, you know him, you love him. He's got dates, I'm sure. That's at ronwhite.com somewhere for those of you listening around the country. Jeremiah Watkins is with me on the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour. He's fresh back from Montreal. His stand-up on the spot show was a goddamn hit. He did the goddamn comedy jam every single fucking night there. He's a part of the wave on roast battle. And he's one of my favorite human beings on this show of Kill Tony. Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Anything else, Jeremiah? Yeah. Thank you, Tony. At Jeremiah, stand up on social media. And Pat Reagan and I have a new sketch up on ReaganWatkins.com. Check it out. Pat Reagan also has an album out called Bad Chat. It's available now on iTunes. Uh, and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. He's on Twitter at Mostly Sorry. The drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt is right here, ladies and gentlemen. While you all sat there doing nothing, Ryan J. E. Belt made an entire piece of art. Shout out to our people on the VR. Let's make some noise for the comedy store door guys and waitresses. Yeah. I very rarely get to give them enough credit. Chris, We're always Chris so Dillon on bass, bass guitar. Yes. Chroma Chris at Chroma Chris. Coma Chris? Yes. And this tequila. Yes, who, uh, number one. I'm telling you, I'm not fucking around. It's truly the best tequila. Zip and Recruiter. Zip Recruiter. L.A. Speedweed. Monster Energy Outbreak Tour, the brand Kill new Tony Kill shirt. Tony shirt. Edmonton, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota, I'll be there next month. See ya. Live audience, we're going to be hanging out on the patio after this. We're going to drink more and hang out all night. If you guys want to high-five us and say what's up, you could do it right out there. Keep drinking on the front patio. Give some money to the comedy store. We love this place. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>